In some states, but not all states, raccoons are considered a rabies vector species. In the medical literature, a vector is a creature that can transmit a disease. So a vector species is a species that is particularly at risk for transmitting a specific disease. Raccoons, and not all states but some, are labeled as a rabies vector species because they are more likely to have rabies and transmit it to humans and other animals. Most raccoons are not going to have it, however, and they're going to be rather friendly or they're just not going to care too much about you at all. Raccoons are kind of used to humans, especially because they've kind of adapted to our modern society. So most raccoons are not going to it's going to be kind of hard to tell whether they have rabies or not because raccoons are not particularly aggressive to humans whether or not they have rabies. So right here in this video, we're going to give you four signs to see if a raccoon has rabies or not. Number one is difficulty walking. If a raccoon has fully or somewhat paralyzed back legs, and so that way they're not able to walk normally, they're walking really weird, but they don't have an apparent injury, that could be a sign that they have rabies. Another one would be if they're just walking in circles and uh, you know there's issues with their legs and their mobility abilities. So if they have any issue with their mobility, don't help them out. Just kind of see what they're doing and hopefully they'll go away on their own because that could be a sign that they have rabies. Number two is a raccoon that looks confused or is not alert. Most raccoons are going to be very, very, very alert creatures. And some raccoons, they, they, they avoid humans, and other raccoons, they don't really mind humans. But one way or another, especially when they're foraging and looking for things, they're going to be very alert and purposeful. Whatever they're doing, they're doing it fully. So if a raccoon is looking really confused and disorientated and they don't really know what's going on, that could be a sign that they have rabies. Telltale sign number three is if a raccoon is making very weird noises. Now, if raccoons are together in a pack or it's even just two of them, they might be talking to each other, they might be making some noises or whatever, and that is completely normal. However, if they're foraging, if they're looking around for things and they appear to be doing something rather purposeful, or it's a raccoon that's completely alone, that's making a ton of weird noises in kind of a crazy and not really purposeful way, that could be a sign that the, rabi, uh, the raccoon is injured has rabies, etc. So you should probably avoid the raccoon. The final telltale sign that a raccoon has rabies is if there's foaming at the mouth. If you ever see foaming at the mouth by any creature, squirrels, raccoons, skunks, anything, avoid them immediately. If it's in your home or it's in your property area and it's not going away, call a wildlife expert immediately. Do not get near the creature because it is very, very likely almost 99.9% .9 likely that the creature has rabies and you do not want to be near the creature, you don't want to touch it, you don't want to get any rabies at all. So that would be a huge problem for you. So if you see foaming at the mouth, avoid that completely. So now that you know four ways to tell if a raccoon or creature has rabies, I'm gonna go over two normal things that both rabies infected raccoons and normal raccoons do. So that why you know if you see this that it probably might not be that they have rabies, but one way or another, you should avoid them. So number one, things that both healthy and rabid raccoons do is they have no fear of humans. Now, some raccoons are going to be afraid of you. They're gonna run away, but some raccoons, especially in the city, have been conditioned that us humans give them food because other humans have given them food. So they might stalk you. They might be kind of watching you. But again, just make sure that the raccoon is purposeful. He's alert and that uh, if you make any sudden movements, he should run away or whatever. And so that's kind of how you tell if he has rabies or not. But simply not being afraid of humans is not a sign of being rabid. The other thing that both healthy and rabid raccoons do is sometimes they're out in the day. You might see raccoons out in the day quite a bit, but raccoons are actually nocturnal creatures, which means they prefer to be in dark areas. They're usually more out in night, so if you see him out in the day, it doesn't necessarily mean the raccoon is rabid. Uh, he might be a little bit blinded somewhat just because of the light, mainly because he's a nocturnal creature. But just watch out for those other four signs. And if they're out in the day, it's probably no big deal. So that right there is four ways to tell if a raccoon has rabies. 
Most raccoons are going to be healthy. They're not going to be threatening you. They're not going to be a huge issue at all whatsoever. But one way or another, you should probably avoid the raccoons. So that right there was four ways that you can tell if a raccoon might have rabies. If they're displaying any one of the signs, especially the foaming at the mouth, get away from the raccoon immediately because that could be a huge issue to your own personal health as well as the people around you. Having trouble with wildlife in your home or office? Wildlife X Team is your solution to get rid of the raccoons, bats, rats, and snakes. Having a professional team, we offer both residential and commercial animal removal methods by using innovative and integrated techniques. Our services include animal trapping, dead animal removal, nuisance wild animal control, and animal capture. What are you waiting for? To get 24-7 service, call us at 855-WILDLIFE for an affordable solution for your nuisance wildlife issues.